Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, this one's going to be kind of an easy one. Um, I am doing something with this cute little cutout, owl cutout from Dollar Tree. I got to be honest with you, friends. Please tell me in the comments if you know what they actually are. Tonight I'm going to use it for one of those little battery operated candles. Who knew, right? So I just start by painting all of this cutout black. I did the inside, the outside, and even the cutout parts, I want it all to be black. Then I took this gold chalk paint. It is so pretty and shimmery. Um, and I just dry brushed, distressed it all around the edges. Um, I did a little bit light at hand and then I kind of went a little bit more crazy. And the reason why is because I thought it kind of looked a little creepy cool. Um, I don't do Halloween, but this just screamed the need for more gold on it. I don't know, just I, I only do what I'm told. And this project spoke. <laughs> Anywho, it didn't really, friends. I'm lying. <laughs> All right. So anyways, I just keep distressing. And then I used a smaller distressing, um, what's it called? Brush. <laughs> Gosh. I used a smaller brush to distress the eyes. And oh my, Lanta, I love the way it looked. Look at how cool this is. I am so excited. And these brushes, by the way, came from Dollar Tree. Um, the paint I got from Michaels or jo this one came from Joanne Fabrics. The other, the black one I got from Michaels. So there's that. Look at how cool that looked. All right. So then I take 28 one quarter inch beads and I put them in a Ziploc. Now, again, friends, you could have stopped right where we were before. Let it dry and put a battery oper operated candle in it. Bingo, bingo. But I didn't. I put the beads in a baggie and put that gold paint in the baggie and switched it around with my hands, just rubbed it on the outside. And then I put them out. This is on one of those um, Chucks pads. Um, I put it out on the Chucks pads and then I fold the Chucks pads over and I just rub off some of the paint. So it looks kind of like distressed almost. And then I put a bead of glue on. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, I did the front and the back first. Do the sides last. Um, each each front, like each front, <laughs> what a dork. <laughs> each, the front and the back, each take 10 of the beads. So that's all I'm doing is a bead of glue and then I glue all of the beads on. Now I'm doing them with the hole up, but you could do it any way you wanted. You could even bead it on some jute if you wanted, but there's that. Look how cool that looks, right? And then I go on the sides and the sides, I think, let's see. I can't remember. I think the side was what? Five, four, four beads. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four beads. Anyways, like you couldn't see that. <laughs> Sorry. Anywho, so then I did just same exact thing on the other side. And then I took some black paint and I distressed it with that. And look at how cute. Are you kidding me? I love it. And then I put a battery operated candle. Yay. I hope you enjoyed.